hi everybody welcome back to my channel happy halloween to all my halloween lovers i trust that everybody is doing great and everybody is trying to stay safe on today's menu we are going to make kabucha squash we are going to stuff it so if you are interested don't go anywhere stay tuned so i start with cutting my cabbage and I'll be cutting a zucchini too. So if you're wondering what is zucchini, zucchini is just like an eggplant or aubergine plant. So I'm cutting my cabbage into thin slices. Yes. Just like so. Then I'll put it in a bowl and set it aside. We are going to use all this for the stuffing. We are going to stuff the kabucha squash. I wanted to use acorn squash, but I went to my favorite store, Tore Juice, they don't have it. So I decided to go with that. And I'm very happy I went with that one. And uh, during this time, you see more of this uh, pumpkin squash it is the season it started from october to november sorry october to next march so this is the start of the show kabocha squash yes and this is our layout cabbage zucchini about a cup two cups of mushroom and I have roasted corn, sweet corn. And I have tomatillo, green uh, tomato, Mexican love it. It's very flavorful, it's very healthy. And about a cup of onions and a cup of red bell pepper. And I have garlic, turmeric, thyme, and, uh, and these are all my layouts. So from here, I'm going to put a pan on a stove and I'm just going to stir fry all of this goodness, all of these ingredients and we are going to put all in our. So now we have to cut our kombucha, kabocha squash. And I started using my butcher's knife, but you have to have a very sharp knife. And uh, I've learned over the years a trick that you can put it in a microwave for somewhere three to five minutes to soften the skin so that it to be easier. So you, you see, as you can tell, I switched my knife and went for the very sharp one. And look at this vibrant orange yellowish color. So I will go ahead and scoop all the seed and the memory. And this is, uh, the seed can be toasted and don't go anywhere. You see what I use the seeds for. So this is going to be our pot for our stuffing vegetables. And uh, I'm going to score it all around. Normally I use, uh, I like, uh, butternut squash so if you want me to make a, a recipe for butternut squash the way i have a nice way of cooking it just comment under the video and let me know so these are the seed beautiful you can toast it in the oven so on my stove i have my pan and about a tablespoon of coconut oil and i went in with my diced onions yes and you guys know i don't overcook my vegetables we are just going to saute this we are not just going to you know it's just going to be a saute so i will say to it turned into translucent a little bit about a minute 
and then i'm gonna go in with the green tomatoes those tomatoes are very flavorful if you haven't tried give it a shot you will love it it's very healthy the mexicans they don't play with this kind of tomatoes i learned from a friend marabel yes so then it went in and i give it a stir just like so and then these are all my layouts looking beautiful and you of course you can customize your vegetable you can put spinach kale whatever you want it's totally up to you so i put i went in uh and put in uh my mush no my mushroom actually and the mushroom i will um fr uh, saute it for about two minutes and i'm not going to put salt on it now if you're cooking your mushroom make sure you don't put salt or it will dry out so i went in with a teaspoon of kenyan pepper and you guys know i love turmeric i put turmeric in everything and i have a video on that so if you haven't watched my turmeric ginger tea please go ahead it's very good it's uh very healthy indians put it in their dish every dish that they'll make they put turmeric in it that keeps them sharp and intelligent so our next yeah i went ahead and mixed all everything i was thinking i lost a footage of that sorry about that but i mixed everything together after the my mushroom look at it it's looking very beautiful guys now i'm going to introduce a teaspoon of pink salt so yeah my pink salt went in and i introduced some garlic powder ginger powder and thyme thyme goes well with mushroom and i'm going to give you the stir look at how beautiful it is looking yes so after that i'll be moving it to the stove for it to to cook for about saute for about less than five minutes So, so this, is, a, this is how it's looking I'll be cooking it. out less than five minutes this is it and i'm going to divide it into a different pan and i have a rice about a cup of rice to mix it with and when i was doing it i was i lost a, a footage of that so this is rice is kind of like couscous broken rice I'll share the recipe later and let the fun begin. So this is the style of the show. We are going to put all our vegetable mixed with rice in this kabocha squash and it's going to be delicious. But before then, I would like to put a little bit of oil, smell a little bit of oil that's avo um, coconut oil you could even put a little bit butter in it that will make it very delicious too so there you go and then i'll be adding all my mixture delicious full of goodness very healthy so let's talk about kabucha squash a little bit look at that Kabucha squash is rich in beta carotene, loaded with fiber, iron, vitamin A, vitamin C, and it's so delicious. If you have a problem of bowel movement, try this squash. It can be any squash, banana squash, acorn, pumpkin. So yeah, from there, I'm going to move it to my oven. What I was doing, uh, my oven has been preheating already. So for 25 degrees, for somewhere 45 to an hour, depending on the size of your kabucha or squash. So it is all done. And I'm about to take it out from the oven and 
we have to take a look at it so wonderful people if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to like subscribe share that's the only way this channel could grow and this platter over there is from the dollar store yes if you are wondering so after an hour just stay tuned relax and watch this magic yeah just look at that beautiful beautiful and then i toasted the c2 with a little bit cinnamon and maple syrup and it was delish just look at that isn't it wonderful look at this vibrant orange color i love it after taking your children for trick or treating you come home and make this for them they will love it and this can be served with uh it's a side dish and you can add like chicken fish and this is another idea for you thanksgiving is coming up so share this video to all your friends and family so that they can make it you can add it to your side dish in addition of uh, to mashed potato and you will love it and they are going to love it my children love it my daughter actually put some um, um some cheese on it and drizzle some maple syrup you could do that too or honey and it, she said it was a bump that was her words i could and look at this deliciousness it was very flavorful soft moist and it was very nutty too it has this nutty taste to it that you are absolutely going to love it look at that so that's the stuffing inside and the type of rice i use is called like broken rice it's kind of like couscous and i'll share the recipe with you so um this is it guys it is looking absolutely amazing so uh thank you for watching like subscribe share this video to all your friends and family until i come your way next time with another video be safe